In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 online through the Xbox version of Dolphin. Alright everybody, Standalone Dolphin has network adapter functionality and as such we are able to use it to play Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 and by extension 3 online through Xbox Series X and S. Thankfully this process isn't all that complicated, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we begin, you do need to have the Xbox Series X and S version of Dolphin installed, so if you have not done so already, link in the description below will bring you to the Dolphin install guide on my channel. And then we have a number of other Dolphin guides available within my Xbox emulation playlist, so that will be linked in the description below as well. But once you have Dolphin up and running on your Xbox, we just need to register an account with Thack to create a Hunter license for us to connect online with in Fantasy Star Online 1, 2, and 3. So link to the Hunter license management page will be in the description below, but go ahead and create an account. So it's just gonna ask you for an email address, password, so go ahead and do so. And once you have your account made, we just need to add a Hunter license. So just scroll over to the right here and click on add. Select the version that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna be doing Fantasy Star Online GameCube. And now you just need to enter your serial number and access key that you find within the Fantasy Star Online game case. If you do not own a physical copy of Fantasy Star Online 1, 2, or 3 and don't have access to a serial number or access key, I'm not really able to help you with that. You're just going to have to come up with a way of generating those on your own. But once you get those entered, you just click on Create, and you should now have a nice... Hunter license showing up in the right hand part of the menu here. Now over on the Xbox, just get booted up into dev mode and launch into Dolphin Emulator. Now there's a couple things we need to change here real quick. So we have a pretty seamless experience with Fantasy Star Online 2. So press start to go into your settings. Select the left box, press A, and now go down to the GameCube tab here, press A. Now press B and move over to it. So in slot A, you should have a GCI folder selected so you never have to worry about running out of save space. But Fantasy Star Online cannot create a network settings file in a GCI folder. So under slot B, we're gonna change this over to a standard memory card to store our network settings. Now under SP1, we're gonna change this over to broadband adapter HLE. And with those two options set, we're just gonna go ahead and back out of the settings menu and load into Fantasy Star Online episode one, two, or three. Now just click on agree. And on the calendar screen, click on no. Otherwise the game could crash. But now from here, go ahead and press start and then press A on online game. Now it's gonna ask you to select the memory card slot containing your network information, so click on slot B. It'll say there's no network information. Do you wanna create some? Click A on yes. There we go, yay. Now do you wanna use the information on slot B? Yes we do. And then just click A on yes once again. And now from here, just press A on return to game. Now from here, just go ahead and go back into online game. Create a character if you haven't done so already, so we're just gonna make some throwaway character real quick. Now go ahead and select Agree. And you need to enter in the serial number and access key of your copy of Fantasy Star Online that you registered with Shthak. Once you get those entered, you just need to create a throwaway password. It doesn't matter what this one is, just any throwaway password will do. Now it will ask you if the information is correct, so just press A on yes. And then it'll ask you if you wanna save your password, so click A on yes. And with everything entered, you will now be greeted by the Stack server for PSO GC welcome message. So now we can just go into any of the online lobbies here, so. Go on the GameCube Xbox One. And there we go, another welcome message here. And now you're free to begin playing the game as you would originally when Sega servers were online. And as you can see, there's quite a few people on right now, so this is actually pretty cool. But 
Can I organize a team? And there we have it, Fantasy Star Online, Episode 1 and 2, being played online through an online server on the Xbox Series S in my use case here. Now the nice thing about this is this does apply to every version of Fantasy Star Online, so if you're playing on Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2, 1 and 2+, plus, or Episode 3, this same guild card file is going to be usable on all of them, so you only have to do the setup once to play all three versions. And with that, we are now done with today's tutorial. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you all enjoy playing Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2 and 3 online with your friends, as was always intended. It is just so much fun, even today. But here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like, dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. Now, for anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for always believing what we do here and helping us keep it going for so long. Could not do it without you. Thank you all so much again as always. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we will see you back next video.